I think it's true to say that uh, Christians are crying out to God, saying, your kingdom come on earth, Lord, during this really difficult time when many, many people are finding difficult situations. It's still the same. Our cry is, your kingdom come, Lord. And as we look back in history, we can see that God's ways are higher than our ways and his thoughts are higher than our thoughts and he approaches things in different ways so we can look to him and we can look back in the Bible and see what he's done in the past to bring his kingdom about and he says throughout history be bold be courageous have a relationship with me worship me and uh, I think that that's what we're going to see in this next passage I want to take you back to 872 years before Christ. Uh, this passage from 2 Chronicles 20 in the Old Testament is a, an amazing story. Uh, Jehoshaphat was king and the words that really have spoken to me so strong in my life, it says here in verse 15, do not be afraid, don't be discouraged by this mighty army for the battle is not yours, but God's. So I'm going to read this so that you actually understand it. I won't use all the, all the verses, but so that you get the uh, message of what is happening. So messengers came to Jehoshaphat and they said, A vast army from Edom is marching against you. They are already at En Gedi. Jehoshaphat was terrified by this news. And he begged the Lord for guidance. He also ordered everyone in Judah to begin fasting. So people from all the towns of Judah came to Jerusalem to seek the Lord's help. Jehoshaphat stood before the community of Judah and Jerusalem in front of the new courtyard at the temple of the Lord. He prayed, O oh Lord God of our ancestors, you alone are the God who is in heaven. You are the ruler of all the kingdoms of the earth. You are powerful and mighty. No one can stand against you. Okay, and I'll skip to a later verse, verse 9. No, verse 12. Oh, our God, won't you stop them? We are powerless against this mighty army that is about to attack us. We do not know what to do, but we are looking to you for help. As all the men of Judah stood before the Lord with their little ones, wives and children, the Spirit of the Lord came upon one of the men standing there. His name was Jehaziel, a descendant of Asaph. He said, Listen, all you people of Judah and Jerusalem. Listen, King Jehoshaphat. This is what the Lord says. Do not be afraid. Don't be distressed encouraged by this mighty army, for the battle is not yours, but God's. Tomorrow, march out against them. You will not even need to fight. Take your positions, then stand still and watch the Lord's victory. He is with you, O people of Judah and Jerusalem. Do not be afraid or discouraged. Go out against them tomorrow, for the Lord is with you. Then King Jehoshaphat bowed low with his face to the ground, and all the people of Judah and Jerusalem did the same, worshipping the Lord. Then the Levites from the, from the clans of Kohath and Korah stood to praise the Lord, the God of Israel, with a very loud shout. Early the next morning, the army of Judah went out into the wilderness. On the way, Jehoshaphat stopped and said, Listen to me, all you people of Judah and Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, and you will be able to stand firm. Believe in his prophets, and you will succeed. After consulting the people, the king appointed singers to walk ahead of the army, singing to the Lord and praising him for his holy splendour. This is what they sang. Give thanks to the Lord. His faithful love endures forever. At the very moment they began to sing and give praise, the Lord caused the armies of Ammon, Moab and Mount Seir to 
to start fighting among themselves. I won't go into what happened there, but just to the final bit. On the fourth day, they gathered in the Valley of Blessing, which got its name that day because the people praised and thanked the Lord there. It is still called the Valley of Blessing today. The victory was won. They praised the Lord. They thanked him. And that's what we need to do. We have victory through Christ. Christ is our shield. He's our protector. He has died for us and he asks us to join him in praise and in the victory. So we praise and we thank you. Thank you, Lord, that you, the victory is yours. The battle is yours.